what's up guys i'm gonna let you in on a little secret this is my weakness <laughs> i love these stupid things um so i'll sneak out here in the garage that way when the nuts fall off they fall off in the garage and not on our floor in our house but um uh, and i wait till the kids go to bed which is what i'm doing now but i made this video earlier today with my son as well and then i had that video you just watched you're probably wondering what the heck was that all about and i saw it I forget where I was, you know, I just copied and pasted it or cut it and edited it and brought it over. But like, you know, I say edited is just cutting it. You don't change anything to it. But it made me think about what's happening in our country, right? You see more and more of the crap and more and more of the evilness. You see what the hell's happening over in Europe right now. You guys that lived in those bigger cities that went through a lot of the riots that we've had and the way cities are getting burnt down. And I'm going to tell you, these young kids aren't being raised the same at all uh, to what we used to be not the way you and I were raised if you were born in the 60s 70s and 80s but early 80s mid 80s these kids just don't have respect and you see violent things happening them attacking them hurting I got kids and I got girls and I used to play this game called daddy trap with all of them and it was basically like a hug wrestling where I would kind of hold on to them while wrestling on the floor make it tough on them and then eventually let loose so they could escape. And I keep doing that so that they feel like they can get out, so they don't get scared and worried and they don't panic and freak out because something's happening. They go into it slow, they take their time and they work their way out and they work their way free. So daddy traps, she's 10. She rem they reminded me of this girl in this video. She's probably in junior high or 14, 15. My daughter's still too young, but Violence is not the answer until it is. And unfortunately, we have to be prepared for them things, right? We have to be prepared for what is happening out there. And that includes our kids. And so I had some fun with my son. He came to me, what was it last night? He started telling me how he wanted to be a ninja and he wanted to start training to be one. And he was gonna clear out a section of our garage to make a training area. So we ordered him a ninja suit. He won't stop talking about that. That'll be here on Monday. But I told him we already had him. I bought him the, the boxing bag. And you're gonna see that here in a minute. I said, you need to go out there and get that and have some fun with it, man. That was for you, let off some steam. So he found it today and pulled it out. And I had this little bit of fun with him. Uh, hope you enjoy. It's funny though, cause <laughs> I don't wanna give it away, but I realized in the video that I'm just in total dad clothes, right? I got a pair of freaking my work black shorts on t-shirt and I'm still wearing the black socks from when I got off of work. And never took them off <laughs> but I wanted to come out there with my son and you see those 45 year old white legs you're talking about a dude that wears slacks every day and then works around the house on the weekends but anyway make fun of me enjoy it um I think it was just fun it's been a while since I hit a little boxing but boxing uh, bag or something but thanks for tuning in guys check it out one more last thing this fatherhood stuff Man, it takes a toll <laughs> working and the kids, man. We just uh, went swimming at a friend's house. We just got home. Finally got the kids to bed. And being in that pool and that chlorine in the sun. <sighs> Are we getting old? I feel, man, 45, but God bless it. I feel every ounce of it. Anyway, enjoy. Got wiggly. And so you get your rhythm, right? It's not about how fast you hit it, it's just that consistent rhythm. It's like dribbling a little basketball, right? So boom, 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 boom. boom. If you punch it too hard, um, it might come back and hit your stomach, Dad. My dad almost broke it. Whoops. A little too hard. But that's what you gotta do, bud. Get your rhythm down. And also, if you punch it too hard, it might come back and hit your stomach. Get your rhythm down. Start off slow. Get your bounce. 